Today, I'm gonna to talk about expensive versus cheap spray paint. So I have a can of Rust-Oleum from Home Depot that cost this much, and I have a can of Montana Gold from Worth.com for this much. Granted, these aren't apples to apples. This one is high pressure, this one is low pressure. But before we continue, if you like this content at the end, consider subscribing, liking, commenting, checking out my long form content, which I put more time into editing. If you're just starting out and you're screwing around, Rust-Oleum's probably the way to go. It's cheap, it goes down fast, but it's also harder to control, it drips more, and you're gonna have more limited cap options. We have Montana Gold here with a stock cap. It is a little bit pricier, but you can control it much better. The colors are still really good, but it does not fill as fast. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you. Okay, I put two lightning bolts on the wall. I'll try and use the pros of each type of can to show you the difference. First, let's start with the Rust-Oleum. It's going to fill a lot faster, but I'm gonna have less control. So this is Rust-Oleum, this is Montana Gold. So for very large fill-ins, this one's definitely the way to go. But if you're doing controlled lines of something or it has to be pretty thin, then that's where Rust-Oleum starts to break down. So this is kind of the difference between high pressure and low pressure. It's really hard to control these drips with high pressure. Not that it's not doable, but from a beginner standpoint, it's kind of hard. And if you want low pressure paint, you're gonna pay a premium for it. So it's in the higher end. My preference is Montana Gold. I prefer it over everything. That being said, this is like a cheap option if you're just trying to fill something in or to get something done quick. Also, one of the largest things is how hard you have to press for it to activate, which may sound silly, but look up spray paint finger. It's a real thing. I used to climb a whole bunch and my fingers gave out. So that's why I quit. So when the nozzle's super hard to press down, I do it for a really long amount of time, it starts to hurt. And what you'll find is Rust-Oleum will be much harder to press down, whereas Montana Gold is much easier to press. I think most people will just call me a wussy, but I'm in my 30s and I'm just trying to keep up my health at this point. Anyways, I hope this quick rundown helped you a little bit as you're starting to look for different spray paints and why you should buy something or why you shouldn't. I have more edited projects up on this channel, so feel free to subscribe and check it out. But either way, hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. So first, let's start with 